Hello beautiful internet family, Dan here from dancetube.tv and if you're new around these parts then you can expect brutally honest tech reviews on the channel. Now we're checking out the newly released Osmo Mobile 4. Now the whole smartphone gimbal craze is something that's never really excited me too much because I am in love with the Osmo Pocket, a fantastic uh, stabilized all-in-one gimbal camera system. It's wonderful, honestly beautiful stuff. Uh, bigger gimbals that I've tested, they're great, but they take a lot of kind of setting up. But what I liked about this one is that it's the more easy kind of approach to a smartphone gimbal. It's foldable, so this little bad boy kind of folds away, which makes it nice and compact. You also have a magnetic clamp. So you can clamp that onto your phone as you can see. It's literally just a detachable clamp. It goes on and then when you fold this out, you then align the magnet and it's ready. You turn it on and that is the process. So that's why I got really excited about the Osmo Mobile 4. It goes immediately into the portrait mode and you can see that it does a relatively decent job. It is ready to go straight away. I can double tap, put it in that landscape mode. I can also press and hold the trigger on the back to keep it locked in that position there, or I can let go and then kind of get some different movements here. It's a pretty cool concept. I've obviously tested lots of gimbals before, so for me, it was a little bit different. The fact that you can't kind of angle down and then move the phone up, like you have to physically flip the whole unit and then that's how you get the shots that you're looking for. If you want to kind of get like a low shot near some grass or rocks or whatever it may be. But if you want the other shots, whoa, flippity flap flap. If you want these other shots, you kind of are limited to what the gimbal is capable of. The motors themselves are relatively strong. They've been decent so far, but I definitely noticed that it's not the most amazing thing in the world. And I think that's probably because I've been spoiled with other gimbal systems. I think this has got like a particular type of person in mind. It's got that kind of person who doesn't maybe own any other camera equipment besides their phone. And then in that case, this would blow your mind. It's remarkable that you can literally just tap the trigger once and it will automatically set up an active track mode. That works really well. I noticed that fast movement doesn't seem to be the greatest thing. It can kind of lose you a little bit, but you do have stuff like sports mode. So it's a bit more reliable in those fast moving kind of scenarios. Um, you've also got different functionality. Like you can, like I said, double tap, go portrait mode. Uh, you can triple tap, triple tap the trigger and it will change the orientation of the camera to the front or the rear camera. Double tapping will just realign the camera to that midpoint. You then also have the controller here. So you've got a joystick to move the actual gimbal itself. Um, it's got kind of everything you'd want for a smartphone gimbal. If you go into the app, you have hyperlapse, you have time lapse, you have the dolly zoom modes, video, photo, all of these different things. It's cram packed, filled with different features. So for the average user that doesn't own a camera, who doesn't own any other gimbal, but you own a phone, you own a decent phone, and you want to maybe get into some filming then this is probably fantastic for you. I will have two options in the video description below to pick up your Osbo Mobile 4. The first one is from Amazon, and that one means that I actually make some commission on it. I am an Amazon affiliate, but the value does not increase at all. It's the exact same price for you as the consumer. Uh, the other link is for the D1 store, and they're an authorized DJI retail store. You can pick up any accessory or product on their store with 10% off using the coupon code in the video description. So that one is highly recommended if you want to save 10% on pretty much any product in their store. So that's a big one. And then the other thing is a massive thank you to Gia who actually helped out with this video and a few other videos on the channel. So go and show her some love on her website. I will have that link below as well. So in this scenario here, it's really easy to get set up, ready to go immediately, just with a few taps. You can triple tap the trigger on the back. It will flip the camera to the front facing camera and then I can single tap and it will active track me. And now that's set up in an active track mode. No matter how I'm moving, it's gonna keep me in the middle of the shot. So for stuff like that, it's ideal. It's really easy to just get ready and shoot straight away. Then you just need some decent kind of microphone system. You can obviously use the mic in your phone, but you can also attach another mic then and have a decent vlogging setup. It's really easy to kind of hold it out. It's a lightweight unit. That's something that's really amazing about this. It's a really lightweight unit. Considering the motors are really decent in most scenarios, it is very lightweight. 
So that's as simple as that, you're ready to go. And then when you're done with everything, you turn it off, it will just kind of go like this. You can disconnect your phone, so you don't even have to worry about disconnecting that magnet. And then you fold this down, and it will find its locking point, and then that's it. I've got a tripod on the bottom, which is the DJI tripod that you get, but that's the unit there in its entirety. It's a tiny little thing that can fit in any bag, purse, even a pocket. It's really nice how compact they've made it. You've got a few different buttons on the side, so you've got the, the zooming options, you've got record, uh, you've got the different modes, the power button, and then the joystick, and then that trigger on the back has a lot of functionality, like I was saying, single, double, or triple tap functionality. And then when you're ready to go again, fold it out, you got your phone, and you slap it on. It's really easy, guys. I think for a lot of people, this is like the easiest kind of entry point for anyone to get a gimbal. You know, other high-end gimbals, you have to leave markings to make sure that it's weighted perfectly so that every time you disconnect it and put it back on, you've got it in that perfect point so that it's weighted perfectly in the middle. And then with other gimbal systems, there's a lot of trial and error with different lenses. It's a whole thing. But your phone is not gonna change. You just literally set it up and it's ready to go immediately. So in terms of barrier to entry, in terms of filming, this is the easiest thing. You've always got your phone on you. You just connect it at any point. It can literally be in your pocket. You unfold it, snap your phone in with that magnetic clamp, and you're ready to film some stabilized footage straight away. So for most people, I think this is that ideal point. If you've never owned a gimbal, if you don't really take a video too seriously, but you wanna film an event, or your family, or your friends, or whatever it might be, you can active track them, so you don't even have to think about it. You just kind of hold the unit as if you would with your phone, but you're making sure that it's capturing the subject and you're not just filming nothing and forgetting that you're filming. You know, the amount of videos you see online where someone's filming something, something crazy goes on and they forget to continue, they're watching and they forget to move their phone. It's, it's really annoying. So this could be an active track solution where you can just film the subject without having to worry about it. Super easy. This could be great as a travel companion, but then the problem is if you're in a foreign country, you might need your phone then, and you're gonna be chewing through your battery life using your phone on this gimbal here. So it is a great travel companion, but you just have to be aware that you'll be using your phone's battery. So you might need that at some point. I do love how foldable it is. I love how compact it is and how easy it is to use overall. No issues at all with its overall functionality. So really, if you do want a smartphone gimbal, this is the one you want. This really is the one you want. It's phenomenal in that vein. So definitely check it out if you want a smartphone gimbal. This is the go-to. Thank you so much for watching though, guys. Make sure to have a fantastic day and peace out.